The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it. And this should be something special on the pitch. And we're with you every step of the way. Live coverage here on EA TV. Hello and welcome. This is the scene here at Molyneux. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Must be! What an important piece of defending. Did well to clear it away. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. Matty Cash is with Douglas Luiz. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's a player full of confidence at the moment. What a hat-trick it was in the last match. Every time the ball came to me, looked really threatening. His finishing was excellent. He's certainly going to be a marked man today. Wolves might be able to cash in from here. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Fabio Silva. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Bubakar Kamara. Look at Dinia. Douglas Luis. Just the challenge that was required. Sarabia delivered into the area here. Oh, fine stop. <laughs> Can someone get on the end of this? Well, still an issue here. He's blocked it. Sarabia and space to cross it determined defending being pressed hard chance to put them in front and the keeper more than equal to the task a chance to nudge in front corner kick here Let's see about the delivery. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in?
So the corner played into the box. And the corner too close to the goalkeeper that time. And they have possession again. Strong play here. Cunha. Can he play it in? Cuts in from the flank. Oh, danger here. Reading it well. Shielding the ball superbly. Can he finish? Oh, it's gone in! A derby goal, the first of the contest, electric! Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Luna Emery's not happy, of course he's not, but he needs to make some big calls here just to get his team back into this one. And getting close to the half-time interval, it's Wolves with the advantage. Interested, Stuart, to find out what you think of the first-half performance. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Space for Wolves out wide. Crossing possibilities. Can they convert? Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. John McGinn. An effective challenge. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Musa Diaby. Torres on the ball. Luca Dina. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Watkins. Must be! And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. Playing it in. Up the corner, right on the back of the last one. And over it comes. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Diaby, chance for the leveller. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. No more time left. That will conclude the first half here at Molyneux. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game and attack. Well, it's not been one of his best displays, Derek, has it? He really hasn't been able to affect the game here. Unless he starts getting on the ball, they're going to struggle to get back into this one. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. He takes aim. Oh, good work to 
deny the opportunity. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it has come to nothing. Douglas Luiz. Options in the centre. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. It was on its way in. Neto. Well, the pass not finding its target. John McGinn. On to Diaby. Cash. Well, passing moves like this will build confidence. Watkins. On to McGinn. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Lemina. Nelson Sabedo has it. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. And a chance to whip it in here. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Sarabia. It's a perfect challenge. Nelson Semedo. And here's Cunha. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, I think that shows what a good rapport he has with the players. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, Unai Emery knows that his team just haven't been at it today. His reaction says it all. Just look at his face. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Look at Dinia. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Lucatinha. Get again there to intercept. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And a decent position for Wolves to be in. But timely defending when it mattered. Now the counter-attack looks on. Can they make it count? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Electing to shoot, and he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Substitution for Morgan. 
Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, a goal to reduce the deficit! My goodness, that gets the pot boiling. It's not over yet. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Well, these Wolves fans are doing everything to get their team over the line here, but can they see it through? Well, not giving the opposition a look-in. That's strong play. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, no card, but I think he can consider himself suitably warned. Cash. Here's Bailey. On to McGinn. Bubakar Kamara. Here's Matty Cash. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. cross blocked what a block a corner kick and who knows this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser and there's the delivery Good bit of defending. And the referee blows the whistle, and it is officially a win for Wolves. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right areas and he scored a very good goal as well.